Ladies and gentlemen, I am humbled by this announcement and I hereby submit the following joke to celebrate and commemorate 80,000, never thought I'd get past three, <laughs> attendees of the party. This is my ladder. This is my wife's ladder from another marriage. My step ladder. If that isn't cause for a ringing of the bell of tremendous achievements, I don't know what is. Thank you all for being on the other end. This is the very funnest thing ever. And here we go with Banditos by The Refreshments, recent Patreon upvote. This is the second funnest thing ever. You're gonna need an E. <laughs> That's the beginning. Um, I was watching a live version and on the D it seems to me they messed around with the G string fourth fret. Not too much, not that much, but a little bit. And on the A, the D string fourth fret. Again, not that much, just once or twice. The beginning. When the band kicks in, the, the guitar chords are still E, D, A, E, but there's that really cool lead part. Grab the G string fourth fret, I'm gonna use my middle finger. Grab the E string fourth fret, I'm gonna use my ring finger. You'll see why later, but you can use whatever fingers you're comfortable with if you figure out a better way. So G4 and E4. Notice I slid up to that G4. And then we're going down to G2 and then open E. Fours and then two open. Again, 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 again. Now we're going from four four to six five. So now I got middle finger on G string, pointer finger on E five. This way, my middle finger can slide around and I can either use my ring finger or my pointer finger, depending on what shape it's gonna be. So here we go. Fours, two open. pluck a little bit and then we're gonna be 11 10 nines sevens six five and the E string is gonna go four five four 11 10 nines sevens six five four five four whole entire thing the lead part during the verse as well. When we get to the pre-chorus, it's E. A. Back to E. And then B. For B, you can play B, the power chord. You can play B, the real way to play B, or on the record, you definitely hear the cowboy thing going. That's when you use your pointer finger on A2 like normal, but your middle finger on D4 so that your pinky finger can reach up for D6. You can give B any one of those treatments that you prefer. I also want to acknowledge that I hear in that pre-chorus the baby E string fourth fret and the G string fourth fret. <laughs> but I think given how difficult that is to do with your normal shapery that that's got to be the lead guitar player. You can mess around with it if you want. Same on the A. Oh, I was doing so well. I, well, whatever. You get the A. And now the part we've all been waiting for. The chorus. E. We're going to palm mute this, right? That means karate chop right where the strings meet the bridge. Too far this way, you won't get any sound. Too far this way, you won't be muting at all. E. No. A. B. E. C sharp minor. If you know B minor, you know C sharp minor. It's two frets higher. But if you don't know B minor, C sharp minor is, starting on the A string, four, six, six, five. Here we go again. A. B. E. C sharp minor. A. I'm gonna 
default to the whole chord, but you can make it a power chord if you want. That's starting on the E string. Four, six, six. One more time. A, B, D, C sharp minor. check. It is the case, and it is also the case that that is the chord progression during the solo solo. And speaking of the solo solo, use the E minor pentatonic scale. Open three, open two, open two, open two, open three, open three, or a whole octave higher. 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15 or any of the E minor pentatonic shapes in between. For you shredders who know all those, of course I mean the Ninja Turtle kind, but that is all the pieces for Bandito's refreshments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you for 80,000, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. Dip the button. <laughs>